Hi, this is Jennifer Workmeister with Product Management for Adobe Analytics. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a new mobile scorecard using the new mobile visualizations. For this demo, I'm going to create a retail-oriented scorecard. I'm going to start with my unique visitors, and I want to see my unique visitors broken down by the ad platform that they came from, so I'm going to drag ad platform onto my tile. I'm going to create another tile with just visits, and I want to see my visits broken down by my product category on my site. And then lastly, I want to see my total revenue. And specifically, I want to see my total revenue broken down by individual products. This is great for looking at my top line metrics, but as I mentioned, I'm more interested in the breakdown of dimension items for each of these metrics. The new mobile visualizations are great for giving me a view into my dimension items without having to click on the detailed view. For unique visitors, I want to see the contribution of each ad platform as part of a total. So to do that, I am going to switch this chart type to a donut. That looks great, but I can see that unspecified counts for a lot of my data. I actually want to remove this so that it's a more useful visualization. To do that, I'm going to go to the right rail, click on the caret next to my dimension item, and here in the list of all my dimension items, I am going to select the icon that's a circle with a line through it to remove unspecified. That looks a lot better. Now for visits, I want to see my visits over time. To do that, I'm going to create a line chart. I could change it over here in the right rail, but I also have access to all of my visualizations here in the left rail, so it's easy for me to drag and drop them. That also looks pretty good, but I can see that the pesky unspecified is disrupting my access. I'm going to remove it in this chart as well. There, that looks a lot better. And lastly, I wanted to see my total revenue broken down by product. Because I want to easily see what my top products are, I'm going to use a horizontal bar. This shows me what my top products are and how they're performing against the previous period. I'll take a moment here to show you that some changes have also been made to the detailed views. At the top of my detailed view, I have my total revenue, not just my revenue broken down by individual dimension item. I also have the total percent change for my revenue. Down in the table, I can see the total revenue for each individual product. I can also see the percent change of that product from this time period to the previous time period. It looks like sales of aviators was up yesterday, whereas sales for Burbank jeans was down. I really like seeing this breakdown. However, if I want to see my total revenue without having to click into the detailed view, I can still use my very useful summary number. I'm gonna put two of those at the top of my scorecard so it's easy for my stakeholders to see their total revenue and unique visitors at a glance. That looks great. Now I'm ready to publish for my stakeholders. I hope you found this video useful and that you're excited to use these new visualizations in your mobile scorecards. Thank you.